Hello my dear friends and welcome back to my tutorial, today I will show you the something about the schedule. So you have the schedule and as you know in the headliner we should create some more data, we not just should write for example the mark, we should sort it, like its door, like its frame and many other data, for example by levels, maybe by blocks, whatever, but you should sort it. How you can create the kind of schedule in Revit, I will show you in this tutorial. And right now I created a list, here is the my list and I already imported here the my schedule. If you don't believe I can do it one more time, here is the my window schedule and I will import it here. Doesn't matter about the my list because now we're talking only about the schedule. And let's see what we have here. As you can see here we have the gap. So this is a default thing, we should exclude it, we should change it. As you can see here we also have the gap and how you can control it. Just go to the fields, here you will find the appearance and here you will find blank row before the data. Just uncheck it, say OK and as you can see now we don't have any the blank row without the data and if we will back to the list, here now we have the union our schedule, so not any gap. Let's, let's go back and let's do one more thing. As you can see here we have also if you're going to the fields and appearance again, we have here the more things like show title and show headers. For example, I don't want to use the mark location with because this is raw data from the Revit. I want to create, as I already show you, uh, some my own data, uh, some my own mark. So we can just uncheck it, show the headers and say OK. Now you cannot see any headers. Don't worry about A, B, C, D because you not will see it on the, your list. If you will import your schedule to the list, you not will see it. Let's let's compare it because better to see how it looks like on the schedule and how it looks like on the list. As you can see on the list, we have the headliner and after that we have our data. We don't have any A, B, C and we don't have any headers, so we can now work with the headliner. Revit it's not Excel, so it's not easy to create like an Excel the schedule here, but anyway we are possible to do with the headers whatever we want. So I will show you how. Let's let's see again to the our example. This is only example. We have like uh, one, two, three, three row here. One, two, three. But in the header we have only one. So how we can create more than one? Pretty simple, just click on that, go to the insert and just add more rows as you want. For example, I will uh, place it a, a be below the selected uh, header. One, as you can see we get one more and let's create three and three. Now we get three of them and as you can see it's working also for our list. So uh, to see better now I will working, I will work only in the schedule and we will back when we will finish. Okay, here now we have a lot of the rows, but as you can see it's not as we want, how we can manage it. Let's say this header will be main one and this just will be window schedule, that's it. After that, let's say I want to make it only for the number, so this is will be for the type. If you want to check the size, you can just copy it, for example here the size, and after that just resize it, and just resize it, and now it will be exactly the same. You just should select it like this and resize it, done. Now it's totally same, the size. If you want to see it, just go back and as you can see it's exactly the same line, as you can see. Here it uh, looks like it's a bit different, but it's not, don't worry about that. After that, as you know, here is the mark. I will select both of them, both of this uh, part, and I will merge it here. And as you can see, we get one, only one um, space here. And let's write here the mark. I will write here the mark, and after that I will just select it, and I will say a line by center line and a line by middle. OK, let's go back to the list, let's say, check it, as you can see it's exactly on the middle, by the horizontal line and by vertical too, so and here is the mark, or maybe here it will be number, it's more properly. Let's go back to the uh, schedule and let's say here we will, I will select this uh, part and this part, just hold your left key like this 
and merge, unmerge. And as you can see, here is the union one. Maybe you want to create this union one. Do the same thing. And as you can see, we get merged. And uh, here you can do it separately. If you don't want to make it just uh, like approximately like I'm doing, just select uh, previous, previous part, like main floor electrical, this one. Resize, just copy the size, go here, resize it, and change the size. And as you can see, here is exactly size. If you go back to the list, as you can see, it's real the same size of that. I will do the same thing here, resize, select it, and go back to the resize it, and change it. And as you can see here, it's changing the both line. So this is really important because you should think about some some of the parts of your schedule. And as you can see now, everything correct. If I will go to the list and everything aligned. So, and now you can write here whatever you want because this is just only the header. Here, no, no need any parametrical thing. You can write here anything what you want. For example, here you can write type of the element. Here, I don't know, like window above the sum level. Here, something else, else, else. So here you can do whatever you want. But remember one thing. If you will change, for example, the size of this part, for example, here you will re resize it. I don't know, let's write here the two. You should fix it up the your header too. If you not will do that, as you can see here, we get any, some gaps. So just manage it before you will do something. Also, you can just unhide your header. Just go to appearance and here you will find it show title. Just show it off. And as you can see, now we, you can get only clear data. So everything about the headers, everything about some extra data, you can find under the appearance here. Just check it out, all these things, and you will find it here. That's it for today. This is, was a small tutorial how to create the, your schedule more properly, how you can control it, and how you can create it more readable. If you like it, don't forget about the likes and subscribe, of course, and share this video. Thank you guys and see you on the next short tips for the Revit.